All right, everyone, here we go with a Friday reading. Oh boy, just about to launch into the November readings. I got a very fitting little pre-shuffle here. I don't usually do a pre-shuffle for the Friday reading, but I thought this time, what the hell? Uh, and I'm glad I did, I'll tell you. Uh, that said, one card for each sign. What are they thinking and feeling right now? Just in the lead up to the damn November readings, which I'm gonna start this weekend, all right? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm probably gonna do the weekly reading, on Saturday, although I may not and just forego it and just go dive right into the November monthly readings. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. You never know around here. Uh, that said, it's general reading. It may or may not resonate with you, but if the title brought you in here, you found Steve Love Terry here for a reason. This reading is timeless, so whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. Pre-shuffle. Just the surface energy of what they're thinking and feeling right now. I got the strength card crossed by the three of wands and the empress. And underneath that is a whole lot of tension with the ten wands. <laughs> but uh, the, main, the main gist of it here is our little three-card sandwich here. Uh, it, it's, it's hard to resist this energy. Somebody's trying, but they keep turning around and looking back at this, feeling this energy. That's your energy attached to that, by the way. And that's a lot of burden. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of thinking. That's a ten wands, and it's very heavy. All right, let's see. That being said, that's just the surface energy, which, you know, again, surface energy. Most people in this world just ignore it and, you know, make free will, crazy catawampus free will decisions that lead them down crazy roads, going all tunes is the driving cat off the road. But that's the surface energy. It's nice to see. So let's give the deck a shuffle. Let's do a Friday reading. Let's do it. Uh, again, uh, it, we're just splitting the soulmate cycle into 12 pieces. There's no timestamps here. There's text that explains why at the top of the description. Uh, it's just every, everything is connected. You guys are all part of a cycle. You're all connected. At least 9 out of the 12 should resonate with you. All right, let's do it. Overall energy of everything that's going to fall on the table is three pentacles. Somebody wants something here. Somebody definitely wants something. What's fueling that? Nine pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, again, that ties to that ten wands. That's a lot of thinking. A lot of trying to turn away from the Empress energy and just turning right back staring at it. The only way to get liberation here, what they're thinking and feeling, is to do something. Is to, to come in with some kind of something. You know, do something. All right, let's see. Our story starts with position one, which is Aries, if you're going by the astrology, which you shouldn't be in my reading, but whatever. And position 12, we end in position 12, Pisces. All right, and I'll mention the signs, I always will, but really we're just, it's just one through 12. About nine out of the 12 should resonate with you, give or take. All right, here we go. Let's begin our story here. Where's our story begin? Aries position number one here, Hierophant. That, that's how I knew it was gonna be powerful. That's a hell of a start. Ah, uh, they're just feeling the connection. It's, it's everything I said in the pre-shuffle and more. Uh, what are they thinking and feeling about you? You've changed this person. This person can't look at life the same since they crossed paths with you. Since, since this connection affected them. All right. For some of you, it's you directly. For others, it's just the way the connection itself, which is its own thing, makes them feel. As I used to describe when I first got here, there's you, there's them, and there's the connection energy in the middle. You're both plugged into it. Okay. So the connection is its own thing. All right. That's why it doesn't matter whether you come together with your person or not in a soulmate cycle. It matters. It's here to fuel you up, to raise your vibration. You learn a lot in deep connections like this. A lot more than you do from a bang in a bar parking lot. You learn a lot from a deep soul connection. You just do. They've learned a lot. They've changed. All right. But they're definitely thinking about you. I mean, totally ties to the pre-shuffle. Uh, number two here, the Taurus position. Page of Wands. Ah... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's communication. It's somebody was thinking about what they'd say, thinking about talking to you, thinking about trying. Somebody's, I just help, I guess I'll just phrase it this way so it's simple. Somebody's thinking about trying again with you. Okay? I, that's, that's how it reads. But it's a page. It feels like, it feels very pagey. You know, it feels, it just, it just does. It feels like something somebody says after they've had a few beers. You know, once the beer wears off, you know, it's like that. Okay. That's fine. I like it, though. I do like the Page of Wands. 
you know, probably thinking back to some of the good times if you were together with that person and had any good times. If not, thinking about the good times they could have. Uh, Gemini, position three. Seven swords. Oh, God. Somebody's lying to themselves here. Um, so it's that energy I saw, I talked about in the pre shuffle about how they're trying to look away, but when they try to look away, they can't. It, it's just somebody, there's so, this energy in this particular angle, this person, whoever this energy belongs to, is so manipulated by the energies around them. So, again, we're sort of back at this position where somebody's pretending you don't matter, but the truth of the matter is you do. That, that fox got that one eye open on you here, okay? So, somebody's telling themselves lies, and, and, and it's good to know that it's lies. You know, it is. It's, 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 the Seven of Swords is, in, it, in and of itself, it's a temporary energy, okay? All right, wait. The hot spot of the connection side. None of this surprises me if you've watched the readings that lead up to this. And, and the November readings... I, again, I talked about October being a month of towers. I don't know what card I would give November as a predictor, but I will say a lot of Ten of Swords type energy maybe. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords for people not, not following through. I would say for sure. Uh, definitely. Um, the hot spot. Cancerian position. Slice number four. Bookends the Hierophant. Yeah, Eight of Wands. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I pulled a Cancer reading recently. This is, this is definitely the all signs position. Everybody's person is thinking about talking to them. Even the bullshitter here st definitely wants to talk with the eye wide open right there. Uh, it's, it's, this is a communication aspect. This sometimes can be forward movement. It can, give me, it can be a speedometer card to tell you things are moving fast, that kind of thing. No, somebody here wants to talk. They want to reach out. Okay, that's that's what they're thinking about doing. They're thinking about what they're going to say on the way to you. All right, I can't say whether they're actually going to. I don't know. If I pull a weekly reading tomorrow, we'll find out what actions they're likely to take. Or if I just go straight into the November readings, we'll find out there too. All right, so you know, because I pull on those as what actions they're likely to take. So we'll see. Uh, Leo position number five, the Leo soap opera position here. All right, and again, your sign doesn't matter. Your, if it resonates, it resonates. But, you know, it, it, we can divide it up that way and put the signs to it if we want to. Nine of Wands. Uh, it's feedbacking off of bullshit here, and it's feedbacking off of the Eight of Wands. Somebody is. Hiding behind a wall, wanting to say something, wanting to talk. Somebody is, what's the word I'm putting up? Affronting is kind of the word I'm putting up here. Fronting a little bit. God, what are they thinking? They're trying, they're trying to block you out. Okay, that's the easiest way I can say it. That's why I can't say what they're thinking and feeling. Because they're trying to block you out, but it's complete bullshit. It's bouncing off of this. It's feedbacking off of the Seven of Swords. It's got something to do with their life. Most of the... Uh, people in this angle here are in a toxic relationship. This is the most married of the entire cycle. The, the highest number that are already married to somebody else or in a relationship or whatever. Yeah, they're, they're trying to block it out. But at the same time, they want to talk. And the net result is a whole pile of bullshit. Virgo, position six. Page of Cups. Yo. Do, 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 do. I was going to say, it sounds more like what actions they're likely to take. You have an energy attached to you that's about to approach with either an apology or an offer of, or hey, you want to go grab a cup of coffee. Sort of a soft ask out, right? A soft ask out. Not like, hey, you want to go get some dinner and bang later? It's sort of a, you want to go grab a coffee or something, or can we have lunch? And maybe it's somebody you work with, they say, you want to have lunch together or something like that. It's, it's, there's a lot of love attached to it. There, there is. But, again, they're thinking about how to do it. They're thinking about what to say. It's feedbacking off of the Eight of Wands. Okay. Wow. This could be a very interesting little time period here. Got a lot of Halloween parties coming up and stuff like that. Pay attention to a recent three card I did. You know, uh, that's a, talking about meeting somebody or whatever. Or wasn't there a... Uh, Oh, wasn't there a, a, well, I don't know. It may have been a Schrodinger's cat. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, Libra, position seven. I, I washed the, wow. Wow, it just flew out of my hand on the floor. Why? This is how it landed. It landed just like that. I picked it up, 
and I'm putting it down. So I have to, I pull my cards this way, so I have to pull it this way. Yeah, it flew out because it wanted to flip. It wanted to reverse, and it's sideways reverse. I'm going to straighten it out in a minute so my reading doesn't get all catawampus. But I've got seven wands reversed. Somebody's coming out of hiding here. Somebody's coming out of hiding. I'm going to tell you, this is the hot spot. This is the all signs position. It's as good as the overall energy. And what did I say about the only way to liberate is for them to do something here. This is a strong energy on the table. There's no doubt. And it's fueled by a hierophant. Somebody coming out of hiding here. Yeah, I, yeah, I, again, thinking about what they're going to say. I see this. I see it. I do think it's page level, though. I got a lot of page energy here on the table and floating around. I wish I could clarify that. I don't know what they're thinking and feeling. I don't get anything on the thinking and feeling part. I get somebody's all done thinking about it and incoming. It's just incoming. Okay. Wow. And that flew out of my fucking hand and landed on the floor just like I showed you. All right. Number eight here. Slice number eight of our pie, which is the hot Scorpio position. We're in Scorpio season, so technically this should be an all signs position for everybody. Very similar to the hot spot. Six of cups. Thinking about you. Some, but they're just thinking back, thinking about how they treated you, thinking about you. Thinking, 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 thinking. It ties directly to the energy I got off the pre shuffle. Absolutely. There's, if I were to clarify this, and I'm not, and I can't make any predictions, but I would say there's some sort of Ten of Wands type energy attached to this. Um, keeping them up at night, Ten Wands. It feels like a Six Cups, Ten Wands, Nine Swords kind of a thing. Pacing the kitchen at two in the morning with a bottle of whiskey, really thinking back, thinking and feeling. Um, oh, there's something else there. There's like a, 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 I just, this might be somebody who treated you poorly. You know, was mean, was rude. It doesn't have to be a runner soulmate. It's somebody who's attached to you. Uh, thinking about apologizing is possibly that. A peace offering, possibly. Okay, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see what actions they're going to take if I do the weekly reading or whether I do the weekly reading or the monthly readings. We'll see. Uh, Sagittarius, position number nine. Number nine. Knight of Wands. We have a lot a forward movement for a what are they thinking and feeling reading. This is a lot more than I expected. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not I'm not unhappy about that. But I get this. This is a newer energy that's coming towards you. Okay? This is a newer energy. It, it's just it's incoming. I don't uh, how do I phrase this so I don't sound crazy? Um I'm crazy anyway, right? It's Somebody's now just take this as it resonates. It's the best I can do. It's somebody coming towards you, probably with an offer of love. It's Steve's Love Tarot, who doesn't think you're going to be interested. So it's a, it's a bit of a speed. So they never really stop moving. You know, it, it'll be a weird. Expect a weird conversation in the near future from this energy, whoever it belongs to. Okay, that's the best I can tell you with that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, somebody's somebody'd like to move forward with you, but they're not at the same time within the energy. They're not sure you're interested, or or maybe they're convinced you're not going to be. So it's an in and out kind of a thing. It's very weird. I won't be honest. That's really weird. Okay, expect a really weird conversation in the near future. You'll know who this is with this because you'll be like, oh God, Steve was right. I can I can only imagine. Wait, when you feel that energy, you'll know what I mean. Capricorn, position 10. Three swords. Oh, somebody's all broken up over you. Somebody's all broken up over you. What Now, what do I mean by that? You can take that a few different ways. Well, a couple anyway. It could mean somebody sitting in a corner crying over you, right? Or do I mean somebody is, because that just came in. Some, somebody's all broken up over you. I, this can also mean somebody's breaking up with somebody for you or because of what you showed them, because of what your connection meant to them, because of how it made them feel. Either one of those is possible. 
Uh, either way, there's a lot of pain attached to what they're thinking and feeling. And again, I showed you a pre-shuffle for a reason. Everybody's person is thinking and feeling them on 10 wands level. Okay? Yeah, they're trying to look away from it. I imagine this person is, but uh, they can't. There's no way. This is the card that ends the separation phase of the soulmate cycle. This is very encouraging. Again, forward movement attached to it. Virtually everything here has forward movement attached to it, except, well, even this one does to a degree, except this one. <laughs> this one here, number five, the Leo soap opera. This person's just got a block up. They, they just shields up. Right? Okay. All right. Um, so, okay. Position 11, Aquarius. I had, I had Clark Griswold in my hand when he drove into the bad neighborhood and vacation. He says, roll them up. Right? Roll them up. This person's got the windows rolled up. All right. Position 11 here, Aquarius. Sometimes, not unlike Virgo, sometimes my wild card position, it could be about you, death, transformation. Uh, it is about you guys. This is about you guys. I think uh, um, mo most of the energies watching right now are attached to this. Y'all going through, all of us, me, myself included, are going through a realignment right now. All right? Uh, it is just happening. It's just what it is. Um, as far as energies attached in this angle here, this is an angle that, that you often resonate with. Um, they're going through a change in perspective of they're seeing you in a new light the energies around you are beginning to see you in a new light and it's because your energy is realigning and changing okay that's all i can tell you i mean i don't know what else to say it's it's a nice card it's good all right on a scale of one to ten that's about a nine you want to see there it's really nice all right so just allow it to happen Oh, okay. Position 12, Pisces. Always tied with position 1 and 5, unfortunately. But in an equal and opposite way, usually. I don't know. We'll see. Hermit. Well, not, not so much this time. Um, somebody's hiding here. Somebody's hiding. I got. I, he's in the shell. He's in the shell right there. Somebody's hiding, but I think they're about to come out of hiding. I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I, I wish I could clarify. I know. I'm pissed, too. I, but it's okay. I'm not going to clarify it, but I am going to have the universe add all this up. Um, you have a very deep soul con in this position here. You have a very deep soul connection with somebody, and they're trying to hide from it. But not unlike this tortoise here, you can still see his head, right? They can still feel the connection even when they're trying to hide from it. I don't know why they're trying to hide from it. I usually see this energy incoming, but you know, the energy right now is pretty intense. The environmental energy around us is pretty intense. So it could be too intense for even some of the runners that would normally, or, or new soulmates that would normally just approach. Okay? So keep that in mind. It is very intense energy that we're in here. All right. Here we go. Let's, let's, grab, let's talk to the witches. Let's have the universe just add all this up. Very strange energy here. I would call, I would say the November readings are going to be strange, to be honest. I would say so. Uh, there's a lot of powerful energy. We'll see. I'll be starting those this weekend. Like I said, if I don't do the weekly reading, uh, I probably will. But if I don't, I'm just going to dive right into the November readings. I'll make the decision based on the energy. All right? If I think it's worth doing the weekly reading on top of a monthly overview, you know, I will. All right, let's go. Three cards and a bottom card. What does all this mean to my viewers here? What's, what's going on with this incoming energy? Mostly, I've got a lot of forward. I've got, if they are, well, they're all thinking and feeling you, but they're doing it in motion. All right, bottom card. Yeah, the sun. The sun. Fueled by temperance. What? I know what that means, but we'll see. That's crossing the center position. The seven of cups. The queen of swords. And what's red with seven cups? The queen of cups. Oh my God! Um, yeah, um, act, it, the, the sun with temperance crossing the, uh, uh, the Queen of Swords is acting on truths that they know. Everybody here, everybody's person here is processing the truth, but what they're getting stuck on here is the cups, right? They're getting stuck here on. Well, some of them might be how to approach. 
but some of them might be getting stuck just in general being confused because it's out of character for them. But the, the truth is crystal clear and it brings with it a lot of healing. But I do see them kind of trying to make excuses a little bit in their own way, kind of ignore it. Sort of like what I talked about in the full moon reading. Okay, a little bit of that and a little bit of what I talked about in the uh, Twin Flame update I did the other day, you know, a couple of days back, uh, where they were on a feedback loop, I think, or something along those lines, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't remember. But either way, uh, with the Queen of Cups here, a lot of loneliness attached to that card still. Everybody here is thinking about why they're lonely, okay, and how do they fix it, and it just keeps coming back to you. And that's, that's the truth. They can't unknow. It's crystal clear. And it actually brings with it a lot of healing. They get it. They understand it. But it's tough for people that have never operated under cups energy before to just all of a sudden start operating under cups energy. So that's all. It's very, very intense energy right now. You can see the intensity in the reading. We got lightning here, lightning here in key positions. I mean, it's very, it's very strange. This card flying out of my fucking hand. Unreal. Ah, uh, we'll just see where it goes. Well, this is going to make for some very interesting November readings and a very interesting weekly reading where if I pull the weekly reading in the upcoming week, I do this and then we clarify, but we ask what actions they're likely to take. Um, it's going to be interesting. Uh, that's your reading. I hope it was helpful. If you like this reading, please like, share, and have your head checked, right? No. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who shares, and everybody who watches. I'm just going to pull... I'm going to pull one more card and a crossing card. What else do you want to tell everybody here before we go? I'm going to do it like that. Just, just wide open to the universe. What else do you want to tell everybody before we go here? Alright. Alright. What? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, why did I say, oh, yeah. Oh, it's a Knight of Cups at the bottom. Yeah. And the Six of Swords. The universe wants to say slowly but surely. There's no motor on this boat. Slowly but surely. The ener their energy is coming towards you. And while they're coming towards you, they are thinking of their... Yep, I get the Seven of Cups now. I get it. What should I bring? Should I bring the blanket? Should I bring the whatever? They're, all, they're, they're thinking on the way. I mean, it's just the way it is. It just keeps coming out the same over and over, no matter what deck I grab. That's your reading. Good luck.